I love listening to Pet Talk Radio. I Seeing as we have all the gang here today, I thought it would be fun if we could find out a little bit more about those amazing dogs we see on TV that can do anything. And I'm particularly talking about the Wonder Dogs and my new favourite, which is the Jeep ad. And uh, if you haven't seen it, you just have to go to Jeep and, and have a look. But... <laughs> it really is very, very funny. It has a very clever border collie as the star. And the person who is responsible for that wonderful dog is joining us on the telephone line right now. It's the one and only uh, trainer, don't laugh, Ryan, Kelly Girl. Hi, Kelly. Hi. How are you all? <laughs> very well indeed. Maybe you could give me some uh-huh. tips on how to do introductions better. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what Flynn can do for you. Well, it's all about training, isn't it? And the Wonder Dogs are pretty wonderfully trained. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's all about having fun. How many dogs have you got? You know, paint a picture of your daily life um, when you work with these dogs before they get to the TV stage. I do have to admit, I've actually got 12 dogs. We've got one pug in among the mix. So <laughs> really? He, yes, one, one little pug. He's now 16 years old, wow. so he's a dear old fella. Um, and then we've got the 11 Border Collies, all ranging in age from our dear old Willow, who's 14, right down to... Our very new little baby who's only oh, four weeks old. Gosh. And does it take an awful lot of training to, to have the Wonder Dogs be wonderful? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, it certainly does. I guess it's always a project that keeps in- evolving. So we just work on little bits here and there. Just the sheer number of dogs. Yeah, it, there's a lot of work that goes in. But they've also got to be um, ready to be able to go out into the big wide world and... Um, And perform on stage with a lot of distractions. That's probably the hardest part of the training. Well, they seem to do a pretty good job, don't you reckon, Farmer Dave? I love working with the Wonder Dogs. And we we were very fortunate to um, do quite a few shows down in Melbourne just recently. And uh, it blows my mind every time I see Kelly just weaving her magic with them. She's like this orchestra conductor and she's got all these dogs (laughs) doing these amazing things all at the same time. And uh, Um, I'm just mesmerised every time I see them. Has she passed on a few tricks and tips to you? She has, she has. Um, (laughs) How to stay calm when things don't go exactly how you want them. And um, often us performers just get a little bit frazzled when the dogs don't do exactly what you want. But Kelly just seamlessly goes through it and then suddenly um, has the audience eating out of her hands. Hmm. Gosh, that's a a big (laughs) ray. So what's the hardest thing to get the Wonder Dogs to do, Kelly? Oh, gee, that's that's actually a really hard question. Look, I think, um, you know, to do what they do, you need a dog that um, has that extra pizzazz, has that sort of up themselves sort of personality that want to show themselves. Like Farmer uh, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> not going there. <laughs> um, so not, not all dogs, you know, have got that sort of life ahead of them. And certainly we've got a couple of dogs here that, you know, performing on stage isn't their thing. So they need to have that want to, to love, you know, performing. So that's probably the hardest thing is selecting the right dog. And then it's got to be a bomb-proof dog. Yeah, you know? yeah. You've got kids that could end up you know, pulling their tails, um, loud bangs, um, fireworks. So the dogs have got to be really, really cool. Okay. Now, Kelly, I have a bone to pick with you. Because of your perfection <laughs> and this dog's being so good, people watch them and then they come to me and say, can you help my dog do that? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no. no, because it takes a lifetime <laughs> of training. <laughs> this is why we always have a young dog on stage with us, you know, a dog mm. that's behaving like, you know, that teenage dog where, you know, they're bouncing all over the place, jumping all over you, sometimes doing what they're meant to, sometimes not, <laughs> just so the public can see, hey, you know, yeah, young dogs, dogs are do young this. dogs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But we need to train them individually first. So they do all their stuff individually and then we gradually work them as a team so that they, they need to know their stuff before they're, you know, they're put out there performing, you know, as a group. So is it like eight hours a day training? Um, Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. That then turns into a chore. No, no, training has to stay fun. So I have to say, you know, we go through stages where we do, you know, lots of training and then we do little bits. It's got to be fun. So I do it whenever I feel, you know, like having some fun. 
<laughs> well, I guess you'll be doing a little bit of uh, fun stuff very soon because Dogs on Show is coming up very soon and I believe that uh, Farmer Dave might be uh, on stage again with you. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm so excited to be working with Kelly again <laughs> and um, having our banter about how amazing Kelpies really are. <laughs> is that a loaded Rainy question? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, if I couldn't have a border collie in the world, I'd probably have to go with a kelpie. I think. Mm, well, I might be able to sort you out with that. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. So tell us, tell us what you're going to be doing at Dogs on Show, and when, and where is it? Ah, yeah. Look, it's at Erskine Park. It's really quite exciting. Um, we'll be out there. Dogs New South Wales are putting on the day and we'll be out there doing stage shows. I think we've got two stage shows booked for the day. So we'll have all the dogs, including some young ones. And um, yeah, out there just to have fun and let people see the dogs having fun. And Kelly, you mentioned um, them being bomb-proof. One of the coolest parts of your shows is at the end, all the kids get to meet the Wonder Dogs and, yeah. you know, it must be really trying to be able to get the dogs really just to chill out and pose for every single photo and you've got the most coolest little poses that you have trained the dogs Aww. for. How is it getting those um, those behaviours and making sure that the dogs always do that performance at the end, which is really intense because you've got these kids that are very unpredictable, all wanting to get their photos and hugs and kisses and carry on when they're, they're all in close to the dogs? Yeah, look, as I said, you know, it's really, you know, like, it's so critical for us that our dogs are bomb-proof. You know, I spend a lot of time making sure that nothing is a surprise to them, so we do a lot of um, preparation, and the dogs, you know, they, they love doing that. They love people around them. The more of a crowd, yeah, the more excited they are to be there. So, obviously, the MC's got to do a good job of introducing you and whip the crowd <laughs> up. So, Dave, give us a bit of a, a preview of how are you going to introduce, you know, Kelly and the Wonder Dogs? You've seen them on TV. You've seen them in the latest Jeep ad. Of course, they are the most incredible dogs to have ever graced the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Kelly Gill and the Wonder Dog. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> 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 and that's exactly what happens every single time whenever I say it. They're like, get off Farmer Dave, we want the Wonder Dogs, and we want the cute new puppy. Oh, gosh, I will look forward to that introduction. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we go, very quickly, with the Jeep ad, how much oh. fun was that making that? Because I did promise at the start we'd talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. Look, a lot of fun. We do a lot of TV and commercial work, and um, a lot of it becomes, you know, sort of the same old, same old. Um, but the Jeep commercial, you know, it just sort of, it gave me that ability to be able to train strange behaviours and um, bad behaviours. In a fact, lot of fun. <laughs> in, in a nutshell, basically, the well-trained dog turns into a, a not well-trained dog when yes. uh, the owner gets to see a cute-looking dog trainer, and suddenly the dog does very bad behaviour. That must have been yes. really hard to train. That's actually harder to train than the good behaviour. Funnily <laughs> enough, um, I do have to admit that Flynn did have a stunt job in there. <gasps> um, I know. We try not to actually say it out aloud because Flynn would be terribly mortified. <laughs> we'll keep your yes. secret. Who was the stunt double? The stunt double was actually Jinx in the humping scene. Ah. Yes. I haven't seen this ad. We've got to put very, very we're put ad. We've got to put this on the website. <laughs> Kelly, um, <laughs> one of the things, of course, the whole ad, the premise of the ad is that the dog is um, trying to break up this burgeoning relationship between the dog trainer and the owner. Correct, yes. Now, Pretty much so every single dog that comes to our classes does that. Are you saying that all of my <laughs> students are actually trying to flirt with me? I wonder. <laughs> well, I we could wonder. ask the behaviourist as well. Yes. <laughs> what do you reckon, Joanne? Hey, I'm not going to comment on human behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> it's too complicated. <laughs> uh, well, look, thank you very much for joining us, Kelly. I think we've got a little insight. And if people want to meet you, they should go to Dogs on Show, which is on June the 15th. Yes, and, it is uh, June the 15th. We, we just turn up, don't we, <laughs> Kelly? Correct. We just we're go, just yeah, yeah, hopefully we're at the right place at the right time. Yeah. And, and Brian and I will see you too because we're going to be there as well. Oh, yeah. fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kelly, Gill, thank you very much from the Wonder Dogs. We'll, uh, we'll see you on June the 15th at Erskine Park. Thank you and looking forward to it. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, how amazing. I'd love to have a, a dog as well-trained as the Wonder Dogs. But guess what? You can actually learn some of their tricks because Kelly has put a book out with Dr. Katrina. Yeah. It's um, Training 
Tricks, I think it's called. You'll be able to buy it on the day. So you'll be able to talk about it on the day at Dogs on Show. Yeah, it's a great book. And um, we give away freebies as part of the Ooh. show as well. So really? you've got to turn up to be able to be in the running team. you got any preview copies? Uh, not with me right now. But um, I do at home because I go through page by page each night with Matilda. 